is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirts, different type of shirts and logos that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis. I'm going to check out the video. What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis. Coming to y'all with a quick video. We're going to talk about Patrick McCall signing with the Toronto Raptors. This was a guy that... Won the championship with the Golden State Warriors. They picked him up, and he was a solid rotation player. Um, a guy that they didn't really know what they was going to get out, get, get get that much from. A guy that they needed for a couple short periods because he was able to give them um, a solid player at that two position or even a, a guy that can play off the ball and knock down threes um, when double teams or help came or they collapsed the defense. And he was able to fill that boy. He never was a great superstar player, but he was a guy that you can plug him in around other great players and he can shine. And we was able to see that a lot in Golden State. He was a little inconsistent, but then again, he was getting inconsistent minutes. And when you're a shooter, your jump shot comes and goes some games. But I had a chance to see him in summer league before he even played with the Warriors. And I felt like, yeah, he, he's going to be a steal of the draft because he has the ability to, to do multiple things on the court and to pick him as late as they picked him and for him to be a solid player um, speaks to the knowledge and, and how much they know about um, the player that they need. And they, they drafted him um, 38th and... They, well, he got drafted 38th and he got traded. But um, that just shows you that the, the, the Warriors, they scouted it. And they, they're trying to figure out ways to find talent for cheap. And the best way to do that is through the draft. And Patrick McCall was one of those guys where they wasn't paying that much money, but they got a lot of value out of his contract. And that's something that you will see with a lot of teams. And that brings us to the Cavaliers, a team that has – Tried to find some young talent that they can build around with Colin Sexton and them boys down there um, in Cleveland. They they tried to find some floor spacing. Kyle Corver wanted to leave. Obviously, you had J.R. Smith still wanting to leave, and they just tried to pick him up for cheap and just um, but give him an opportunity. And they gave him a six million dollar deal. It just they ended up waving him after three games. But I thought that that was a good pickup for them. I didn't really make a video because as soon as I wanted to make a video about it, he ended up getting released. So I just had to put it in this video. But I think yeah, Cleveland would have been a better fit because he would have been able to get more minutes and get utilized a lot more. He would be able to build up his name a lot. Um, when he was in Golden State, he, he definitely had a name because he was going out there doing the little small things and you're on a big stage when you're in Golden State because everybody want to watch Golden State lose. Everybody paying attention to them because they're the hottest thing in the game when it comes to teams and they're the most exciting team. So I think that him playing for Golden State really gave him um, a bigger brand around the NBA for people that really watch the game and study the game. Patrick McCall was able to play solid defense while also being able to get out in transition and even – um, hit the spot of corner and corner and spot of threes and even sometimes they'll come off the screen and knock down jumpers and I seen the, what he can bring to the table in summer league and that's why I wasn't surprised that people were interested in picking him up outside of Golden State because Golden State had to let him go they just don't have the roster space and they just can't afford to pay him the money that he wants and it's a sacrifice that you have to make when you have that much talent is that you're going to have to let go of people that you really don't want to have to let go but you can't really afford to give them the roster spot and then they can be unhappy because they're not getting the playing time in the minutes and the sacrifice is just letting them go just to be happy but you might not want to do it but that's something that is ugly about the business some people want to do better some people feel they can get better and some people leave for better 
And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the fact that you don't want them to go. But in a reality, they're going to do what's best for them and their family. And what's best for him is getting more money somewhere else, but also getting the playing time that he got in Golden State or more. And I feel like Cleveland could have brought that opportunity to him if he was been able to stay. And injuries really hurt him, too. That hurt his development and his growth was injuries and the fact that he didn't get that much playing time in Golden State. He only averaged 16 minutes at the highest in Golden State. And sometimes he started, which was 10 games that season. And even his rookie season, he started 20 games. And he was a solid rotation player. Um, I definitely want to see more of him. He's only 23 years old. He's a legitimate 6'7". He was a little smaller than that coming into the league. Now he has the ability to play multiple positions if he can add a little bit more muscle. Maybe he can get up to playing the one, the two, and the three defensively, and that can give his him ability to switch and shoot spot up threes. And that's a three and D guy, and that can prolong his career and help him get um, more offers and stay in the, in the NBA a little longer if he can um, be able to bulk up and, and work on his finishing ability too. That would be even better. But if you six seven one eighty five, you you know that you're not big enough really to play those bigger positions. But that's something that he definitely gonna have to add because the more you can do, the more versatile you are, the more chances you can get to another team. And hopefully the team that he's on now, the Toronto Raptors, a team with a lot of switching and a team that has a lot of um, individual defenders. I think that this team can be a perfect fit for him, too. The only problem is I don't think he's going to really get that much minutes like he could have got in Cleveland because they needed somebody that can play the multiple positions in Cleveland and Toronto. He's just going to be an extra next man up guy. He's going to get about 10 to 15 minutes, and they don't really need him other than that unless a serious injury happens. To me, this is a deal just to get him into the league and get him back playing high-level basketball, but it's not – the, the, the move that will take him to his next level in his career. But it's a move that will definitely keep him in the NBA. And I think that that's why him and his agent went with the Raptors. They're winning right now. They're going to be one of the biz, best teams in the East, like we've done seen throughout the years. And on top of that, they have stars that is unselfish and Kawhi Leonard and Kyle Lowry. And if you're open, they're going to hit you. And that's the mastery of Patrick McCall game is playing off others. Um, and that's something that he has been great at even in college. So I think that this th this move is a move for him to just continue to learn. Um, and if he can just do that, I think that – and just really just work on just making easy shots. Um, and I say that about a lot of young players when they come in. Just learn how to – do the little things, get the steals, and play hard defensively, and knock down the open shots, get out in transition. I, I just feel like th just fly. And, and I've been saying that even when I go to summer league, just do the small things that get you attention. People love the transition. People love the threes. People love when you're going off. Just do the little small things, and they will bring you attention. Just And, and that's all Patrick McCall really has to do and I feel like he did that in Golden State and that's why he's getting interest from other teams but when you get a small amount of minutes you don't really have that much of an impact consistently on games because you're not really getting that many opportunities to shine but I feel like the best way to shine is just going out there and doing the little nasty ugly things that other players on your team might not want to do because they're guaranteed their their shine and the best way to outshine them is do the things that they don't do. And then people will start to notice it. And, and that will give you the attention you need when it comes to free agency. So whether if he find, whether if he does a one-year deal or a two-year deal with the Raptors, which is actually a one-year deal, I think that he really needs to focus on that in free agency and finding a home that he might have to lose money. He might have to take a pay cut. He might not get the money he wants but he can get the opportunity that he needs to really show that he belongs in this league and that he can really play and help a team out, whether it's a championship team like Toronto or Golden State or whether it's a rebuilding team like Cleveland. He really has to excel in this role right now so that way he can show the suitors that he can play better than what he played in Golden State. He brings more to the table than what he did in Golden State, but also you had to look at it like this. He can do better.
Um, and that's one thing I definitely noticed in Golden State that he was here and there, but he definitely was a player that I want to have on my team. And I didn't really hear him get mad. I didn't really hear him complain. I didn't really see him throw a hissy fit. I just seen him go out there and try to give the best he could in the opportunities that he had. And I definitely wanted to see him get a bigger role, but it just don't look like he's going to get one. But that's fine. There's a lot of people that are die to play in the NBA. There's a lot of players that really want to have a chance to play in the NBA and, and even on the higher level win a championship. And Patrick McCall has been able to do both, and he's going to have another opportunity right now in Toronto. The problem is, will he stay in Toronto? Will he stay the whole season? If anything goes wrong, will they keep him? Well, if they signed him to this deal, then he's going to be um, non-guaranteed, which means they can sign him for the rest of the year and keep him if they want to. But if they ever want to let go of him, they can waive him. And that's the same thing the Cleveland Cavaliers did. It gives the Raptors more flexibility. This is a win-win. For the Raptors, you get length, you get size, you get three-point shooting, plus you get a guy that you can always let go and get a roster space to somebody else you like. Obviously, the buyout players is coming up not too long from now, and if they don't like what Patrick McCall brings to the table, if they feel like he's replaceable, all they got to do is wave him and just pick up somebody that they feel will be a better fit. But I also think this is not the end of Patrick McCall, whether he, if he gets waived or he doesn't stay on the roster the whole year, he's going to continue to find interest because he is 6'7", and a guy that can shoot and play off the ball while also giving you some decent scoring on the ball, even if it just means coming off the screen and just keeping the defense honest. I think that that's something that he will definitely continue to bring to the table. And the fact that he is 23 and he can improve and he already done show that he can win um, within a smaller role or even has potential to be better with a bigger role is going to keep teams interested in trying him out and giving him a chance. But I definitely want to see if he can what he can do. And I definitely want to see if the Raptors going to keep him. But until then, I don't really know how his career going to go. I don't really have too much to say about him because we don't really see him that much. And he doesn't really play that much. But he was a guy that stood out to me in summer league and when I watched Golden State game. Yeah, that guy, Patrick McCall, can play. I like this guy. And that's what you want people to feel about you. And that's how I feel about Patrick McCall when he played for the Warriors. And maybe the Cavaliers in Toronto feel the same way because they signed him. And as soon as he got away from Cleveland, Toronto signed him up very quickly. So it just lets you know that he do have suitors and people do believe he can be a viable asset um, on their team. So let me know what you guys think. Is this a good pickup for the Toronto Raptors? Did they make the right decision? Will he stay on the roster for the rest of the season? Will he just be a small pickup or will he just be a temporary pickup? Let me know what you guys think about Patrick McCall and how his career could possibly go. I'm Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis. I'm going to be out, but check out my website, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description in the comment section below. Check out my Facebook page, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description in the comment section below. Like on Facebook to show support. Also, like I said in the beginning, check out my spreadsheet. There you can buy merchandise. Thanks for supporting the brand. Thanks for liking on Facebook. I enjoy making these videos. You guys enjoy watching. That's why I continue to go. And at the end of the day, I make videos just like this. Videos about the draft. Video about trades. Videos about everything. Basketball 365 if I can. But I make videos every day. And let me know what you guys think about Patrick McCall. Quinn away. Basketball losses. I'm gone. And, and let's see what's going to happen with him and the Toronto Raptors.